Today I'm going to show you how to use a digital stamp by Michelle Percat called Cutie Patootie Birthday Mermaid, available now at sparkleandsprinkle.com. You'll begin by opening a blank document in Microsoft Word. When printing digital images, I like to print at least six images per page. In order to do that, you'll need to adjust the margins. Simply click on the arrows at the top and drag them to the left or the right. This will allow you to have at least two images side by side. Now we're ready to insert the digital images, often referred to as digital stamps. I like to save the images to my desktop so I can easily find them. After I use them, I put them in a folder called Digi Stamps and organize them by company or artist. To insert the image, go to the top of the screen, click on Insert, go down to Photo, and then picture from file. You'll click on desktop or wherever it is that you've saved your digital image. Click on the name of the image and click insert. When it first opens up, it's approximately five and a half by five, but don't worry, we can easily resize the image. When you first open it, you'll see that there are circles and squares all around the image, as well as this little green circle up at the top. If you hover over the green circle, it allows you to rotate the image. This is useful when printing several images at once, but right now we're talking about resizing. So the squares allow you to change only the height or the width of the image, depending on which square you grab. The circles allow you to change the size while keeping the image proportionate. So right now, I'm going to click on the little circle, and I'm just going to drag it up. And you'll see that when you click on the image and drag it, you'll see the width and the height change. So right now, my image is approximately 2.44 inches by 2.18 inches. You can release to commit and you can click next to the image to deselect it. Now this allows you to insert another image. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to copy this image by right clicking and then copy, deselect the image by clicking off of it, right click again, click paste and you have the exact same image right next to the one you just created. There's another way that you can resize this image. If you're working with a specific size and you know you need an image that's no wider than three inches, you can easily adjust the size. Simply double click on the image, come up here to the top right and you can enter a width of three inches. Click enter to commit and it will size it to no more than three inches wide. By having this box right here checked, it allows your image to lock the aspect ratio or keep it proportionate. Now if you plan to use any dies to cut your images, you can space them very easily by clicking between the two images. You can see my cursor blinking and hitting either tab or you can hit the space bar to give some space between the images. And remember that you've changed your margins to allow for there to be more room on each side of the image. So you can allow for however much space you need between the images depending on how you plan to use them. I like to put mine right at the edges on each side so I have some space between. To print, simply click on File and Print. Print settings will vary depending on the type of printer you use. You can try different settings until you achieve the desired quality. Typically, I go into my printer and I just click print. You can also go into page setup to view more options about how you want to have your layout. If you want it to print horizontally or vertically in different settings. If you have a variety of printers, you can choose your printer. 
and you can also choose the paper size. I like to pick borderless. It allows a little bit more space and a little bit better quality when my images print. I hope this video has helped. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching.